the next show. I don't know if you ever grew up on, well, for a certain age group, Mutual of Omaha, right? right? Mutual of Omaha, they would show you the family. You know, Mutual of Omaha, that's how they would sell a lot of life insurance policies through having this programming that they sponsored <laughs> called Mutual of Omaha, the wild world, something, something like that it was called. Right. But it was about the animals in the wild, right? So a whole, thanks to not only them, but also Jacques Cousteau. Remember right. Jacques Cousteau? Yeah. Jacques Cousteau would <laughs> take the little um, submarines and go down, or he yeah. would put on his scuba deer gear and he would go down the oceans and he would be petting on the different fish and he would be showing you the different squid and all that. Well, this on the on Animal Planet, right? right is a show right. entitled River Monsters, right. Man Eating Monsters. Yeah. Host Hosted by Jeremy Wade. Yes. And we just happened to be like just flipping chilling through. and flipping through the channel and it caught our interest. Mm -hmm. So we just yeah. started watching. It. Yeah, we, we started watching it and then, you know, they had like a binge watch on, right? Right. So we were sitting, Wild Kingdom, Mutual of Omaha. Thank you, Tanya yeah. M. Congress. Yeah. That's right. It was Mutual of Omaha, Wild yeah. Kingdom. And it would show mm -hmm. you all the animals. And so that's why. Animal Planet mm -hmm. exists today right. due to Mutual of Omaha spon sponsoring Wild Kingdom and Jacques Cousteau. Mm -hmm. Why situations like this, shows like this mm -hmm. exist. So look, what he does with river monsters, man-eating monsters, is he goes around into different communities. He could be in South America. Right. He could be in anywhere. He could be in Africa. He could be anywhere Nigga around Rock the world. Ball, right? Yeah, right, right. And he will search out people who have folklore about monsters. You know, right. kind of like the Loch Ness monster. You right. Know, they say that couldn't really be because it's not enough food, not enough uh, sources right. of of food for a Loch Ness monster, something of that size, to live, right? And so, this one episode, the people thought that they were dealing with a, with a mermaid, right? Right, that's what they said, right? So, <laughs> so he takes his his fisher pole. Yes, you can see in the trailer there. He takes his fisher pole, his tackle gear, his different types of bait, right. and he <laughs> goes out there to catch the monsters that have killed human beings before or are he suspects right. through all of his research those that have possibly killed yeah. human beings and let me tell you something some of these creatures like you see in the poster they're big bigger than humans deadly and their weight could definitely pull you under the water. They, right. They're grabbing your limbs and they're yeah. pulling you under. You know, this is different than Jaws. <laughs> this yeah. is like, these are piranhas. Remember that movie, right. The Piranhas? Remember yeah. that? Yeah. And then, but yeah. these are different types of fish, right? Right. That are monsters that will yeah. munch your addicts, <laughs> right? So look, so here's the synopsis, right? So first of all, the cast is our natives and storytellers yeah. and encounters with gigantic fish. Yeah. That's that's the cast, right? Prehistoric looking fish. <laughs> Prehistoric looking fish, okay? So here's the synopsis. A man risks limbs and life to capture on film the catch of sea creatures so large they can only be called man eaters. If you grew up on Jacques Cousteau or you grew up on Wild Kingdom, right. the Animal Planet has shows that are right up your alley. Or if right. you are a fisherman or you like the sea or you like freshwater rivers yeah. and you love aquatic situations, you're going to love this show because there is drama. They build up yeah, drama. High drama. I mean, this guy gets cut for it. He does. This guy gets smacked for it. Yeah. I mean, he does it, right? 
and he introduces you to new tackle gear, new bait, new rods, yeah. all of that. So for people who are fish or men who are out there who like yeah. to catch fish to not 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 like this, but just to sustain yourself with food or yeah. you're just uh hopefully you're just doing it to sustain food and not trying to be a prize winning whatever. Yeah. But this show is for you. It and is, and that's the thing because a lot of the locals, the village people, I mean, they are what catching fish to sustain themselves, yeah. you know, their family. Mm -hmm. And the one story, the first story uh, that we saw that grabbed us was um, a young uh, man, um, a young man, black man, um, was out capturing fish to feed his family and he disappears right yeah and his whole family you know they're looking for him and they, they're trying to figure out what happened to him and then so like you said and then his body comes up later months yes yes right? so, so what it is is comes to find out it's a type of fish right. that jumps out of the water yes. and they said and they surmised that they jumped out the water and yeah. smacked him in his head yeah and he fell in the water right unconscious and he drowned yeah. and then he got munched yeah. by the other predator fish right because there's catfish in there and piranha and he yeah. got but anyway you because have to watch the tell show them because they showed this this fish and the skull like the head is just like as hard as like concrete yeah mm -hmm. and it just jumps up like it smacks you I, yeah and it was just dangerous you know but these people they have to survive right survive. so they go into the water to find fish to feed their families mm -hmm. meanwhile they're doing this they're being murdered well they were not being fish. murdered they're being <laughs> they're 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 preying on fish and fish are preying on oh, them no, yeah right and, and you know, what's interesting is like when he was in Nicaragua right you see the Indian Right. Melanin having people, but then you see the black people who are yeah. black right. in Nicaragua. You see right. the difference, right? Yeah. You can see the difference in the people and they all are coexisting together, yeah. but you see the black ones and then you see the other ones that are European right. uh, raped. I mean, I mean, I mean, just to keep it, just to keep it 100, but anyway, let's go through the breakdown now. <laughs> Cinematography, that's a 10. Sound and edit. I mean, the way that they edit this is so fast paced. It like, is. even when he's missing fish a couple of times, the way that they cut the edits right. or the fish will cut the line right. with their teeth or whatever and get away. And he has to get out there and get it again. The editing keeps you on the edge it of your does. seat and your interested yeah. every step of the way that is a 10 storyline through line the way he goes through the natives telling the story or the yeah. people who have encountered these fish right these creatures these right. man eaters right. and how he goes out and he breaks down yeah. what type of fish it possibly is and then he goes out to catch it yeah. and fresh water yeah. rivers yeah. that's a 10 yeah character arc each each episode yeah you get to see this guy jeremy wade and each time his character arcs in a different way yeah because he has to adapt and overcome and so watching it it teaches you how to adapt and overcome yeah. in some of the most undesirable situations yeah. like one situation he was in a river where they have predators that munch you but he was in a raft yeah. with some fans on paddling yes. because the engines would scare the fish off so he had to be in a in a in a raft right. with a hollow bottom where he right. had to pedal they could have chewed him alive could have chewed him alive but he had to get the shot yeah. he learned that from a mixed german man yeah. who was half black half german right. who was over there but you'll watch the show. You'll, you'll catch up. You can see it. Mm -hmm. uh, so character arc is a tear. Wardrobe and set. Like I said, the tackle and the different fish mm -hmm. and the various areas that he goes to. He right. even went to Alaska. And what's so 
crazy about Alaska, I remember in the Mutual of Omaha, Wild Kingdom, when you saw Alaska, you saw white polar bears and yeah. you saw nothing but ice, ice caps. No, right. Now, wow. when you go to Alaska, you see greenery. You see green grass. Yes. And you see bears. You see right. polar bears that are changing colors. Yeah. They're changing from all white coats to brown, yeah. and they're calling. They call one of them a grizzly. I'm like, yeah. there were no grizzly. They were <laughs> polar bears. But now yeah. the the global warming or the yeah. Atmosphere has changed so that Alaska is now not that polar sheet anymore. You see those bears, yeah. and those bears are coming up and say, "Okay, you're fishing, taking my fish. I'm gonna come yeah. take your fish." And that's exactly what they did. Yeah. So I mean, it's real interesting. Locations, like I said, are a ten. If you wouldn't travel there, but you would like to see what it's like, they definitely give you a true representation of what it's like. Yeah. Story beats, telling the about the tell of the creature, setting up to get the creature, and then right. actually catching, being successful, catching this creature or not, right. that's a 10. Believability. Mm -hmm. Everything in here is believable, even though I'm sure they have to cut mm -hmm. on timing and then say, get the fish again. We didn't get a good shot of yeah. it. And you know, they have to do all that again. But right. the catch is the catch. Yeah. So that's believable. That's a 10. Historic facts told about the region that they're in. Yeah. Beautifully done. It yeah. is a education of the lands that he travels yeah. to. That's a 10. What would you give River Monsters? I would Man give it a eating. 10 because it's interesting and like you said, you know, we were just flicking through the channels and it captured our interest and I love that he goes to these different parts of the world and he interviews these people and um, you hear the different stories and he talks to the family members and um, it's kind of like, what's that show on TV? It's kind of like a TV program. It's kind of like a Law and Order or something, except for it's in the water, because he's trying to solve this mystery. Yeah. And then you have family members who are crying because their loved one is either missing or dead, or, you know, so it's very interesting. This one uh, episode that we saw, <laughs> it was a bear. They said it was a baby bear, right? Mm -hmm. And this bear would be considered like a toddler age. And this bear was determined not to leave the area that he was in because he was getting fish to feed himself, right? Mm -hmm. And so they like trying to shoot a bear off. Now, mind you, he's not bothering them. He's not trying to attack them. He's like, he sees them with the cameras and he the bear knows that these people are out of their element because he's this on the bear's tip, right? It's his house. And so they like shoot in his direction, not at him, but they try to scare him by shooting. Yeah. And like that didn't work. Like nothing worked. Yeah, because he took the fish right off his line <laughs> and he ate the fish and he came back. He said, hmm, y'all look like some tasty <laughs> morsels. So the dude took his Smith and Wesson silver plated right. <laughs> gum gum rubber right. handled uh, Smith and Wesson right. 38. Right. And he fires off a run and it didn't shot. It and, and the bear moves a little well, bit, but he then still he comes back. Comes back. And the bear doesn't said, attack him or anything, no, right? No, but they was like, well, I think that we should move <laughs> because he's back. marking his territory. Right. I'm like, this is his house. Y'all invading his, his land. That's so what's that wrong. Good. That's the only thing that I see what's wrong with this is they, they're invading and they wonder why the animals munch. They, but, you know, it'd be different <laughs> if they live there. Yeah. The people who live there, yeah. then they, they know Thank how you. to treat the animals and the animals live in an yeah. ecosystem along respect. with the humans that are there. Right. So that's, that's, yeah. and then only when they go into places that are, not, they're not supposed to go, right. do they get their butt munched. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you gave it a 10. Yeah. So I give, uh, monsters, right. I give river monsters, man eating monsters. I give it a 10. 